We start off with a look at the high temperatures each day so far during the month of August and a look at the rainfall each day. We picked up about three quarters of an inch of rain in Lansing up through midnight on Monday while the Jackson area was nine tenths of an inch of rain and we had close to 1.7 inches of rain in Charlotte. Well, here's a look at our five-day rainfall, and uh, notice rainfall in the one to two inch range possible over the next five days, and the bulk of that is falling today across the area. We see the breakdown by days, and you can see the heaviest rain actually today. Wednesday, we do get a break from the rain, and then we've got a chance of rain again on Thursday. Friday and Saturday should be dry days for us. Our chance precipitation today, well, it's at 90%. Uh, we're down to zero on Wednesday and about a 70% chance as we head throughout the day on Thursday. So we do continue with a flood watch for the area until noon today. Some areas west of Charlotte under a flood warning until 9 15 this morning. Look at our hour by hour forecast. We do have low pressure that is passing just to our south that will continue to bring rain throughout the day today. But notice it's more of a showery pattern by late morning and then the activity gradually winds down this afternoon. The lug nuts are at home this evening and if the field's in good shape, I think they will have the game because sky's partly cloudy for the game. Uh, tonight we should be partly cloudy. Could see a little bit of fall form in the area tonight and then during the day on Wednesday a good deal of sunshine is expected across the area. Our forecast for today is calling for showers. It is going to turn a bit breezy once that low heads off to the east. We will be in the 60s most of the day and struggle up to around 70 late in the afternoon. Tonight partly cloudy. Fog is a possibility for us tonight. A low of 55 degrees. On Wednesday, we're mostly sunny, a high near 80. Showers and some thunderstorms Thursday, a high of 77. And then Friday through the weekend, we're dry and notice a bit of a warm-up heading into next week.